Now let's look at money. So uh, thanks to Joyce Joyce Jones organization PwC, we have a uh, we have they, we have they put out this amazing report once a quarter. And some of you may look at it. It's called the Money Tree Report, and they put one out for life sciences. So this is for the last three years. Where did venture capital money go in the med tech sector? How did it, how did it ebb and flow? So in the front page of their report, they showed these guys in suits riding down an escalator. That, so they were kind of showing that the last quarter there's been a drop. Uh, but you can, you can see by looking back over time, there's lots of ups and downs. It's kind of spiky on a quarter to quarter basis how much venture capital there is. Another thing that's interesting, if you haven't looked at these reports before, is that therapeutics is massive relative to diagnostics. So if you're on the diagnostic side, uh, you, you may not realize that, that, uh, that therapeutics are actually much easier to get capital in. Or maybe they just require more capital. It's kind of hard to distinguish. Uh, the other thing is that MedHealth is, runs along sometimes bigger than diagnostics, sometimes smaller. Uh, so what I like to do every about once a year is take these and then I go in and count how many pixels tall each of those little bars are and break them apart. So, uh, and, uh, and so here's a couple of, here's what it looks like if you aggregate those things by, uh, by year. <clears throat> and um, so it tells you that basically we're running along the last two years at record levels of, of venture capital investment and it's been very stable. Despite the fact that it dropped last quarter, that's not enough of a trend to say that. Everybody I talked to in the last 10 years has always said, these are really hard times to give venture capital. It's never, it's never once changed in my entire career. Uh, and they're saying it now as well. And, uh, and so it's, it's, it's hard for me to, uh, to take that overly seriously. The venture capital companies are announcing new funds closing. Uh, certainly a number of the companies that we've talked to have been able to close financing. It may not have been as, as great as four quarters ago when all of a sudden you had lots of off term sheets, but uh, overall in history, this is not a bad time. Uh, now let's look in, in a little bit more detail. This is breaking up the, uh, the, the med health, the, uh, the diagnostics and the therapeutics. Uh, uh, and, 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 and unstacking them. Um, so what it says is that, and I was kind of expecting MedHealth, which is all that digital health stuff where everybody's been all excited about, to take off, and it hasn't. It's been, it's been sitting there doing, about, doing this with, with therapeutics or with diagnostics for the last three years. And um, so we're still waiting for that, uh, that revolution, which doesn't seem to be coming. So uh, watch this space. Um, in terms of whether earlier stage or later stage is getting all the money, well, later stage obviously takes more money than early stage, so it's always going to be the case there's going to be more money there. But it's been fairly stable at about three to four times, uh, up and down. Uh, it, it look, it, the later stage spiked up the last two quarters, but the earlier stage did not. So it's, it's not the case that suddenly uh, venture capital got way easier or got way harder. Let's look at geographics. If you look at breaking out where the money goes, this is the critical mass thing, right? Look where it goes. It goes to Boston, it goes to Minneapolis, it goes nowhere else. The, the, light, the light pink on the right hand side of those bars is the, is the medical device side of this. Um, you know, obviously they're, they're, it's, it's all relative, right? There's, there's hundreds of med tech companies in Southern California, for example. Probably if we did just the device side of it, which they don't publish, uh, maybe if you gave them enough money, they'd tell you all what the other numbers were. But um, the, uh, then you'd find Irvine in there and, and uh, you'd find Austin in there and, and so on.